Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Gumloop, which is an AI automation framework. Automation is key when you talk about you know AI. You have been working with a lot of process-driven solutions, and that's where automation helps, where you have to write some data into some systems, where you have to take some decisions out of the generated insights, so on and so forth. Now, not everybody is technical where they can you know, write code to develop solutions and that's where uh, these kind of no code platform like Gumloop helps you build solutions. Uh, there are other automation platforms as well. There are other no code platforms as well. For example, there are Flowwise, which is also in YC, Y Combinator. And Flowwise is also very good. Then you have Japier, very famous, you know, really a bit, of, bit old when you compare this with these new automation platform so you have jpr we have you have make.com you have flowwise but in this video i'm going to talk about gumloop this is not a sponsored video i like gumloop i was just doing some experimentation and i thought i will help you understand how gumloop works and how you can build you know proof of concepts faster how you can validate you know if something is working for you uh, without writing any code and this is an automation framework so you also want to look at the automation flow you know where you define a lot of flow the you can control the flows and this is all going to happen through drag and drop component so let's jump in and see how gumloop works now here if you look at on my screen i am on gumloop platform i have logged in already created an account if you are coming in here for the first time you do have to create an account here now once you do that you can just click on getting started i already have done that and this is how it looks like when you do getting started you can rename it and stuff but i'm not doing that now here there are a lot of things that happens now depending on the use cases so for example if you look at my previous video you know i created an ocr based project where you can take a food order invoice or a food order receipt and then you can extract data out of it and then you can uh, use that data to kind of calculate carbon footprint or carbon emissions of your expenditure on food that's what we did in the previous video which was completely based on ocr optical character recognition that's what we're going to do in this video as well we're going to take a couple of huge cases one is for ocr and the other one can be a pdf kind of a loader or stuff so when you work with ocr thingy guys right it's more image that i'm looking at now for example if you have image so you come over here and you can see a node library now here you can search a lot of things so for example if you want to search here something called pdf you can see it gives you all the components which are available to help you with pdf data so for example you need pdf reader to read your pdf file if you need pdf ocr reader then you can also do that so i don't need pdf so i just just gonna remove this what i need is image so you can see it says analyze image generate image you can also use dali 2 in the back end they use it to generate some images and they also have web browsing agent using SERP api or tavili or so on and so forth now here i'm going to use analyze image so let's click on analyze image and you can see once i click on that analyze image there is a component you know that kind of comes up here on the canvas this is more like a canvas where you can you know drag and drop components connect the flows and then con configure a workflow and that's how then you do an automation and that's what it called process automation or a workflow automation that's what you would heard about it you know uh, using different tools or systems like rpa robotic processing automation or you have jpr you have a lot of other tools make.com blah 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 that you can use it now here when i do analyze image let me explain that a bit you can also make this bigger but this is fine i, I hope you can read this it says analyze image and let me show extra settings so if you look at the underneath model that gumloop is currently using it which is gpt4 o vision omni vision model now you also have Claude model, all the three Claude model have vision capabilities starting from Oppo, Sonate, Haiku. Depends on if you want to go on premium or not. Now, I'm going to keep default as GPT-4 vision here, guys. And the next thing is, you can define a prompt. You can have an image file. So let me just, this is how you can upload a file. You can see I already have uploaded a couple of files. So I'm just going to, you know, select one of these files that I have. So let me just select this file that I have uploaded. And my file is there you can also bring it you can also use the link if you want to bring up from a web url you can also do that and you can also upload it from a local system but i already have written a prompt let me just copy this prompt these are something that i need from this image you can see it says extract below items from the image one is order id restaurant name food item name number of items total price date 
and then time you know date and time this is what i need from this image now for example if you are building an ocr based project and you don't have a lot of technical capabilities and some of some of your friends or if you have a side gig or a project to build something related to ocr you can use gumloop you can use flowwise you can use jpr you can use anything you want right but do something and build right that's that's the agenda so if you look at here on this uh, we have put our prompt and then I'm going to hide this extra setting guys cache response if you are uploading the same image again and again it will just cache it from there just to save some token cost over there uh, but if your data is dynamic then you can just disable this I'm just going to hide the extra settings here and now you can see my one component is ready so I have taken the input my input flow is ready now I have to go into the uh, the next phase which is processing I have to process this uh, I have to process this image and write it back in an excel sheet so I want to write it back in my google sheet because for example if i am working as a as a sales guy where i have to uh, collect information from these different data how can i configure this flow that's the that's the plan now i'm going to come here and search for google sheet you can see it's already here google sheets writer let me just drag and drop here a bit and it says i already have logged in if you if you see here for the first time you have to authenticate with your google drive and google sheets you can see this is what i have created i have a file over here that's called data extraction and if you want to do a bit more structured way you can also define the column names i'm just keeping it as it is just to show you the capabilities but you can of course expand this further now let's come back to getting started here and then i'm going to pick my file here and the file needs to be for example i'm just going to search your data extraction and once i do that i'm going to just search here uh, search for all items i'm going to pick this file and you can see now my file is there so it has a seat name which is seat one you can add writer mode add new role this is fine now what you can do as both the components are configured your input image and then processing and also you can write it back to a seat you have to connect these components these flows that's what you have to do now let's do that here so what i'm going to do now is you can see this is how you do it so if you look at this red it means you can just connect it excuse me let me just make it a bit small oh one sec i think i have to create yeah i have to create a column name so i'm just going to call it result and you can see my result has been created and i'm going to to uh, let me see if I refresh this what happens. Yeah, now you can see the result So you need a connector you need something where you can write it not only the seat But you need a column where you can write the details now if you drag and uh, if you connect this connector with this It will connect now you can see there's a flow that has been connected. I'll just cut this so you can read now You can see our flow is ready. So we have an input image and then we are writing it back to uh, a Google sheet and with your GPT-4 Omni model that will basically extract all this information from that given image. Now let's run this here guys. Now when I run it, you can see it says flow is started. It started the flow and you can see it has, uh, excuse me, I'll just bring it over here up below. And you can see it has analyzed the image. You can see the image processing value, analyzing image. It has given you everything that you need uh, over here in this analyze image. And also in the output, it has given you this inputs where you have the you can view the inputs you can see this is the results here are the extracted details from the image and it has extracted everything that you need and it has written back to this google sheet so if i open this and you can also refresh you can see it's already have been appended now all the details have been here of course as i said you can have different columns for these different entities or keys like order id restaurant name food item names it's in markdown format as you can see over here probably you can also write it better in a google drive or a notion database as well depending on where do you want to write it back now you can see how easy it is to kind of you know connect your components build a process flow and then automate that using ai that's what we have done here guys now a very simple use case uh, for this i'll just close this here I'll make this here and I can see both the things are visible now if you if you if you look at the flow library this you can also save this up if you want to save this feel free to save it and here you can search as well if you want to do something else over here now this is how gumloop works guys I hope you got a bit of idea on how to 
build a process workflow automation using AI automation framework Gumloop. If you have any questions, thoughts or feedbacks, please let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content I'm creating, please hit the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel guys. That motivates me to create more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.